Have you ever wondered what this playground flooring is made of? Most often it consists of special rubber pellets, which are supplemented with polyurethane glue and dyes. The final result not only reduces the risk of injury, but is resistant to temperature changes, precipitation, and even spiked shoes. The coating is produced in the form of ready-to-install rolls, all made right on the spot. The video shows specialists of a British company working with the latter method. The coating is called wet pour, and the pellets are made in Switzerland using synthetic rubber. It can be installed all year round, but you have to wait at least 24 hours to step on it after it's finished. On request, the site can be decorated with different patterns, which requires a variety of dyes, and the thickness is easily adjusted depending on the playground equipment. We continue our selection with some engineers from France, who offer nothing less than the result of innovation in thermoplastics. What have they come up with? These are the Seeker Block Foldable Formwork Blocks. One of the key advantages is weight. A pallet with 150 blocks only weighs 838 pounds, and each block is only 5.5 pounds. That's about 80% lighter than competing products. Work will be much more convenient thanks to easy cutting and joining by folding hinges. The material is resistant to rot and any weather conditions. Once you install a wall, it's comparable to a reinforced concrete wall in a number of characteristics. The standard block is 24 by 8 inches, but other options are also available. The manufacturer emphasizes that the material is ideal even for complex projects such as elevator shafts and retaining walls, and of course, it's environmentally friendly. Now let's check out the Tazmatik concrete molds manufactured in Turkey. Now you can create the garden of your dreams, they say on the website, but the molds are suitable for other locations too. The dimensions of this mold are 16 by 16 and a half inches, with a thickness of 1.6 inches. It's made of plastic or aluminium, and is easy to handle and clean. There are also options for imitating paving stones and creating unusual paths consisting of butterflies. Working with the mold is very easy, and the video tutorial is only a couple of minutes long. A huge advantage is the ability to quickly return to the starting point if you don't like the result. Combining different shapes will allow you to awaken your inner designer and implement your most daring ideas. Here is another formwork option, this time from Germany. It's a versatile modular solution from Paschal, suitable for even large or complex projects. It's made of steel and lined with 0.6-inch thick 11-ply birch plywood. Segment height reaches 108 inches with a maximum concrete pressure of 1,253 pounds per square foot. A wide range of elements and a universal screw connection solution make it easy to work with foundations, shafts, supports, and purlins of various configurations. And thanks to its modularity, the formwork adapts easily to any floor plan and any height parameters to within an inch. For example, the formwork was used to create the treetop walk tourist attraction, implementing 112 supports ranging in height from 16.4 to 75 and a half feet. This solution comes from the US. This is the bin wall retaining wall system. Essentially, these are 10 foot wide adjoining containers that can even be filled with soil from the construction site. The advantages of the system include simplicity, even unskilled workers can install it, low cost, both installation and maintenance will not cost a lot of money, and convenience, no specialized equipment or expensive tools are needed for installation. Bin wall is used in a variety of tasks, from reinforcing roads, including railroads, to protecting coastlines from erosion. The system is also suitable as a breakwater system and can provide an additional degree of protection for military installations. In addition, it is flexible. The bin wall can withstand unexpected ground movements that would destroy more rigid constructions. Heavy rains are not uncommon in many places around the world. 
Engineers from many countries regularly come up with new solutions to weaken and hold back water flows. For example, Italy uses the Aquabox system, which you're seeing on your screen. The system works simply. Polypropylene modules collect water and then gradually drain it, reducing the load on the sewer system. The modules can also be used as permanent water storage solutions. For park irrigation systems, for example, assembly, maintenance and repair can easily be done manually thanks to the compactness of the system's parts. Next up are the hydrofoam insulation blocks from a Canadian company. Compared to traditional options, the blocks allow for faster installation and easier piping because they're lightweight and easy to cut. The standard block is a 4 feet square with a thickness of 2.5 inches that can be easily overlapped on all sides when installed. 3 and 4 inch thick versions are also available. The blocks are made of high density polystyrene foam and the manufacturer notes that they're not only eco-friendly but also 100% recyclable. Also, the hydrofoam blocks received the low emitting material rating by lead requirements, and of course, the blocks are resistant to water and moisture. Here's an interesting product for grouting, the TerraStone PFM1K. It's suitable for porcelain tiles and paving stones. It's designed for a joint depth of up to 1.2 inches and stands out for its ease of use. The compound comes in three colors, is resistant to precipitation, cold, ultraviolet light, salt, and at the same time prevents the growth of weeds. It'll be possible to walk on the finished area after 24 hours, and the complete hardening will take about a week. The manufacturer notes that in the end, the product will even withstand road sweepers. It is possible to work in light rain, and the process is shown on the video. The surface is cleaned and moistened, and the mixture is scattered. A little work with a brush and a hose, after 15 to 20 minutes, careful compacting, and the remains of the mixture are easily washed off with water. This thermal insulation system called Multipore was developed in Germany. Customers can choose from a variety of insulation options – exterior, interior, roof and other. It's also installed at sites such as the Allianz Arena and the Adidas headquarters. This is a complete solution that includes mineral insulating panels without fibers and other materials such as reinforcing mesh, adhesive and plastering mortars, etc. On top of that, the panels are made of cement, lime, sand and water, are fire-resistant material and don't emit any harmful and toxic substances in the event of a fire, and they do not age. That is, they don't undergo significant changes in quality or structure during their lifetime. Do you know when metal roof tiles were invented? This popular roofing material dates back to the early 80s. That's when the Finnish company Ranilla first produced a profiled sheet of steel that looked like a roof tile. The product quickly gained popularity, and today is found on construction sites around the world. Because it's suitable for use in a temperature range from minus 58 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition to other advantages, metal roof tiles are easy to install. Therefore, a huge number of videos on the subject are available online. For example, this is a tutorial on how to work on a gable roof with a team of two people. However, some viewers are not thrilled. For instance, they mention that builders should have used protective equipment. What do you think? Don't try to do this. It won't work if you don't have a plastering machine, a user warns. On your screen is the process of applying plaster without screeds, using a laser level and the Kaleta 6 station. This combination allows you to perform quick and high quality work and be sure that your mortar is correctly prepared. 
The station might seem quite large, but it can be easily disassembled into four parts for carrying. It also comes complete with a 33-foot mortar hose and a 24-inch mortar gun. The high speed of application simplifies all the follow-up actions. One person can do the job, and the compound used allows for a recommended thickness of up to 1.2 inches on walls and ceilings and a maximum thickness of 2.4 inches. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.